look so ridiculous and impossible. Um, and you can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> We'd have way better CGI if it was fake. <laughs> Right there in the sky is one of the biggest chemtrails I've ever seen over Austin, Texas. Now we know a lot about the geoengineering program, the kind of people that are involved in it. It's been discussed at the national level. It's been discussed at the international level, the CFR. A lot of people have mentioned it. It's been proposed as a solution to global warming and climate change and other things. But what are we really being acclimated to? Because this is certainly not just the leftover trail of a plane's flight path. typical planes with a preordained path destination from city to city. Someone needs to explain to me why do they stop traveling in one particular direction and then loop around and, and come back again. They perform this behavior so many times that we start seeing the tic-tac-toe grids in the sky. We're witnessing the giant X's. And I mean, Rosalind, when you and I grew up, these contrails naturally dissipated in a few seconds or perhaps a minute max. But these things expand, they grow bigger, and before you know it, the entire sky is overcast. Well, I think it looks so ridiculous and impossible. Um, and you can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> We'd have way better CGI if it was fake.